Yeah, so today we're going to move on to uh, from triangles jumping into circles. And you know, circles, you know, have, they have parts uh, to them that I think all of us know. So uh, everything here is going to be a review. And if you have a question, uh, it's not a stupid one. Ask it and let's clarify it. Okay? Um, over there is a circle. Now imagine a circle being drawn this way. You and a friend having like a rope. I hold one end and my friend over there holds the other end. I will stay in place while my other friend with the rope walks around me. And as he walks around me, the rope that he's holding, that I'm holding, will remain as tight as possible. So it doesn't get loose, okay, and it doesn't rip in half or anything. But as he's walking around me, the rope is constantly tight and it'll rotate and rotate and go around me like a clock fashion, okay? Pretend there's paint on his shoes. And as he's walking around, his paint on the shoe is gonna leave tracks. That shape is a circle. Every single step of his foot as he was walking around me is the same distance as me in the center. Does that make sense? So wherever he is walking, it's always, let's say, five feet. He is always five feet away from me. Here I am in the center. And he's walking around the path in red that I'm tracing. At any and every point on that circle, he is always five feet from me. So let's say five seconds passes. This is five feet from me. Let's say in 20 seconds later, I ask where is he? He'll be five feet away from me. He's five feet away from me every moment as he's walking with that rope. Make sense? Imagine like this then, my circle having all these spokes like a bicycle. All those spokes are called radii. That's the plural. So as to define what a radius is, it is a line from the center to any point on a circle. For neatness sake, I have to erase some of our radius or radii, okay? Okay, the diameter is a line that goes from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle, but one condition must be met. It must always pass through the center. This blue line is known as a diameter. So the definition of a diameter is a line from one side to the other side. travels through the center. What's up? Yeah, on a globe it would be known as an equator. On a globe, that's an equator. Good connection there. I'll bring it right back, I promise. Just give me a second. Radius has been defined. A radius is a line from the center to any point on a circle. Have a seat and get to work. Yeah. Questions? OK. And then lastly, to define what the circumference is, that's what I was drawing in red earlier. This is the path of my friend walking around a circle while I'm in the center holding the other end of a rope. So the circumference is a distance around a circle. That 
that was traced in red in the beginning. And just to round out our lesson, what is pi? I'll get more into what pi is in a second. Let me just define it for you. This is a symbol for pi in the Greek language. Okay? It's like part of the alphabet, it's the P letter. And pi can be represented in two ways, as a fraction, 22 sevenths, or in the decimal, 3.14. The story about pi is this. Whenever you take the circumference of a circle, any size circle, small, medium, large, and you divide it by the diameter of the circle, you'll always end up with this ratio. You'll always end up with this number. Fractionally, 22 sevenths, or decimal, 3 and 1 4 a hundredths. So once again, if you take the circumference of any circle, and then you divide it by its diameter, you will always end up getting pi. Always, no matter what size circle. Could be the wheels on your on your dubs, or you know, what is it, your 22s? Okay. And you divide it by the diameter of your 22s. You divide it by 22. <laughs> or, you know, if you were to take your little matchbox car, measure how, how you know, the circumference of the, the little wheel is on that toy, divide it by the diameter of that little toy, your ratio will always be 3.14 or 22 sevenths. 